Okay, is it okay if I do my vocal warm-ups yeah. first? <clears throat> Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, folks, we are back in California, headed over to Lamborghini of Newport Beach, which is home to some of the coolest cars we've ever seen in our entire lives. We're gonna do a little bit of filming, a little bit of spotting, a little bit of YouTube, the whole nine. We're taking you guys along. It's the first stop of our California trip. Woo! As the sign indicates, we have McLaren, Koenigsegg, Pinafarina, and then to my left, Lamborghini and Bugatti. There's always something good here, folks. Oh, look at the Skittles. Look at the Skittles. I'm not even talking about over here. I'm talking about over here. We're just missing red. Oh, we got some Huracans. We got some Aventiders. McLaren Artura. Wow, it is going to be a good day, folks. It's going to be a good day. Our morning here has wrapped up. We're just heading out, but we were able to get three awesome videos. We did a spotting of all the supercars here. We did a BAC Mono review and a Porsche Dakar review. Folks, our last time in California, we did have a Volkswagen Golf, and we have since upgraded to this absolute stallion, which is a Dodge Charger SXT. Cloth seats, they are not heated. There is no sunroof, but it is in fact an upgrade. That sucked. <laughs> on to the next spot. We just reviewed an Ineos Grenadier and we were under the impression that there were only seven in the United States of America and we just found an entire dealership full of them. So we were definitely incorrect and I wouldn't deem us a very educational platform, but I, I hope you enjoyed the review. What, what do you got? Oh, 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 oh! CL11 LE, Chris and Car spec. Chris and Car spec thing is never stuck. It just means a black on black car. That's just the Chris and Car spec. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an East Coast luxury. A West Coast luxury for our for East this Coasters. Is, this, is this is not this is not a New York luxury. So every time we are on the West Coast, we have to come to Raisin Cane's. Best chicken fingers in the nation. Don't fact check that, but they're really good. If these ice cubes are coming out of the ice machine, you know it's a serious establishment. And obviously, an array of drink selections, but you have to go Dr. P. Oh my god, Chris and Cars, soda's so bad for you. Folks, not only did these baskets come out in approximately 35 seconds flat, but look at the presentation. It's glorious. I have a stain on my shirt. I almost got hit by a Tahoe. I parked like an idiot. I hope this YouTube thing works out because I am not the brightest. Our next stop of the day is Eurocar, perhaps the biggest supercar dealership we have ever been to. Just get, we'll do some B-roll, but like get a grand shot of this. Get a grand shot of this. This is at least a thousand square feet. On my right, you have the Porsche section. All the way in the back, if you could see, there are three 992 GT3s. On my left is the Ferrari section. Let's get a better look. Come on, come on, come, come on back. A quintuple rover situation, folks. Quintuple rover. It's where I belong, folks. I'm at home. Surrounded by supercars. Surrounded by right rounds. What more could you ask for? Oh, how about eight Rolls Royce Cullinans, two Phantoms, a dozen Ghosts. Come on, hold on, let me just put my key in my pocket. Anyway, and as we walk a little bit further down, we will find my favorite section of all, the Lamborghini section. Allow me to do a little bit of spotting for the YouTube, shall we? Aventider, Suva Lauce Yoda, Huracan Technica, Aventider S Roadster, Huracan Spider, and last but not least, folks, Aventider. Also a Roadster? Yeah, that's a Roadster, folks. Oh, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn <laughs> It just gets more and more incomprehensible every time I say it. Folks, perhaps the best car out of the entire collection here at Eurocar. Grigio Titans, Aventador SVJ. There's a lot of Alcantara, there's a lot of red stitching, there's a lot of carbon fiber. This is a whole lot of car, folks. It's my favorite one here. Except for, obviously, obviously, the elephant in the room. The right route. In the back, we have some G-Wagons, some Mercedes Benzes, a couple of McLaren 720Ss, an Artura, just the casual stuff you'd find at your local supercar dealership, at least. Quick showroom walk around. Folks, have a look at the variety of this showroom. This green on green SVJ with bronze wheels is definitely one of the highlights here. And my second favorite, folks, 
This blue Cephas Lamborghini Aventador Ultima. Oh, come here, come here, come here, come here. Look at these yellow little triangle accents. That's a perfect, this is the best spec. Perfect compliment. These little triangle pieces are like a yellow gold color. Yeah, this is a 10 out of 10 spec. And blue seatbelts. Folks, we're in route to do a little bit of spotting in Newport Beach, but if you'll direct your attention to my right here, based on the architectural findings, it's pretty apparent that we're gonna find some cool cars. Oh, 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 Aston Martin DBX and a bright orange McLaren GT, and I gotta get over it, I gotta get over it. We're not talking about the Ford Flex. That's not taking up camera time. <laughs> oh, we've made it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Pacific Coast Highway. Aventator! Oh, did you oh. get it? We missed an Aventator Super Low J Yoda. We're amateurs. This is what, we literally flew from New York to California to spot supercars, and one of the best supercars drives by, and we're just like, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> ha ha! See, now it's, now it's rolling. All-wheel drive, Lamborghini Huracan Evo. 600 LT. Go, 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 go! McLaren Senna! Holy shit. Oh my god. Please tell me you got that. I got it. No! Fuck Whoa. you. No. No way. Don't go crazy. Don't go crazy. Come on, nice and slow. Why didn't we get the V6 charger? <laughs> oh, beautiful. Come on, get the shot. Get the shot. Come on, get the shot. Look Woo! at that. Look at that. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Beautiful. Beautiful. Just made the entire YouTube video. Done. Done. Wrap it up. McLaren Senna in the wild unplanned spot. There is no way that this Shake Shack is as good as these people make it seem. I mean, the view is gorgeous and it looks like it was the first Shake Shack in existence. So maybe I'm biting my tongue on that. There's probably a Shake Shack down the block that has zero line. Alrighty, day two, we're headed over to Rodeo Drive. This GT3 had his gas cap open. So as we were stopped at the red light, I got out of our charger. He knew who we were, closed his gas cap. Oh, oh, whoa. Now he's showing off a little bit. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. The sun is shining. The supercars are supercarring. We're going to Rodeo, baby. 355 GTS and a Lamborghini Urus. The last time we were in Rodeo, we did not know this existed, but this might be the most elegant parking garage we've ever seen, as you can see by the signage, by the brick flooring. We're gonna go down there, see if we could find anything. We're, uh, we're pretty optimistic that we might find a, a Supra or two. What parking garage? Your New York City parking garage does not have decor like this. Look at the sign. Smile, you're beautiful. She was intoxicating. But look at all the shops down here. We thought it was just a parking garage. There's a salon. There's just a load of Exige down here. Is it an Elise or an Exige? Hold on. Yeah, the smaller one's an Elise. The slightly bigger one's an Exige. Can you imagine going to your hair salon? Like, oh yeah, wh where's the hair salon at? It's, uh, you know, you go under the parking garage in the hidden area with all the brick. It keeps going down. This is a little bit more ominous than the, uh, the beautiful brickwork that we just saw, but we're, uh, we're trying to find something good here, folks. Oh, 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 you see the car covers? We're walking. 430 in the red. That, yeah, definitely. 599 under the blue. And then this looks like an... This is a Mercedes. This is a Mercedes, and then that's the next, Porsche. that's a 997. Wait, maybe a 996. Oh, it keeps going. There's two more floors. I don't know how you would exit out of here because it just keeps going down. We're underground right now. Oh, it would just be killer if we saw like five Bugattis. So much open space. So little Pagani's. To recap our uh, underground hidden parking garage experience, we did see some Ferraris, Mercedes, a Porsche. It wasn't, we won't deem it a failure. It was a slight success. This is really cool. A music video happening out of the CNC 6 and right next to it, a matte black Lamborghini Aventador. And just a little bit further up, Daniel Mack Probably asking them what they do for a living. That's that's Rodeo Drive for you folks. We got some intel that there are some Ferraris here. We're gonna fact check it. We're gonna find out for ourselves. Chris and Cars out. Folks, our inside source was absolutely correct. Ferrari Roma. Oh. <laughs> what, what, what? <laughs> <laughs> yes! There it is, folks. There it is. We're gonna talk about the SF90. We're gonna talk about this gray SF90. No, no. Bugatti Chiron. Bugatti Chiron. Is that a sport classic? Where are we? Wow. Remain calm. We're calm. It's just a Bugatti Chiron. It's yeah, calm. It. Yeah, this is a crazy spec. White paint, chrome wheels, blue calipers, and then a deep brown interior with blue accents. Oh, zoom in on that. Zoom in on that. Look at the mirror. Blue mirror. And then just this little piece right here is carbon fiber. Your engine bay cover is in that same blue. It's an interesting spec. I'm dying to know what everybody in Los Angeles is waiting online for. Because it looks like there's nothing up there. Who's there? What famous person is over there? Are they waiting for me? Oh my God, it's Chris and Cars. Guys, guys, please. It's not a meetup for Chris and Cars. It was a reggaeton band player. Whatever. 
We just pulled off on the side of the road. We had no idea there was a Pagani of Beverly Hills, but if you could see inside, they're not open right now, but if you could see inside, there's a matte black Wyra Roadster. There's an F8, an F12 TDF tucked in the back, two Gunther Works Porsches, an SF90, and a Lamborghini Aventador. Pretty good spot. If you've ever played Grand Theft Auto V, you will know exactly where we are and exactly where this road is. I navigated to this road in Santa Monica from my GTA 5 knowledge. But this might be the most beautiful spot in California, aside from Monterey. But this is, I mean, oh my God. The mountain ranges, the beach, the palms, the sun setting, unbelievable. In GTA, there, there's usually a ramp right there and you could like scale the mountain and put your car on top of that little walkway. It's pretty spot on. This is not a GTA vlog, but this gas station right here, this gas station right here is also in the game. It's not a Chevron, but it's also in the game. I'm, I'm like an old fart by playing that, but but for those of you who play GTA 5, you'll appreciate this. Come on, come on. There's, uh, there's a bunch of little people up there. They're not little, they're just far away. I'm trying to get a wave. I'm not assuming they're high. <laughs> I'm just saying they look little from where I'm at. I swear to God, I swear to God, this Highlander just backed up at like five miles an hour and did not stop and just banged right into that pole. What? Folks, day three, we just wrapped up at Iluso, did a little bit of filming over there. Shout out to Iluso, the guys over there were super cool, super cool with us filming. I did an outfit change, I'm now in three pieces and we are headed over to one of the biggest Ferrari collections in the entire world. I'm a little bit nervous, the men's warehouse suit is uh, a little bit saturated, but we're on our way.